Good morning. This is our very first Bio Newscast for our newly launched Bio TV channel, sponsored by Korea Bio Industry Organization. Hello, my name is Juri Hwang, and I will be your news host today. The South Korean government announced plans to focus on the bio industry, along with non-memory semiconductors and future cars this week. According to the presidential office, these three fields will be the driver for Moon Jae-in administration's innovative growth plan. The three sectors were selected due to Korea's competitiveness in the fields and as one of the President Moon's goals to creating new jobs. The government's aim is to nurture these three industries to become the first movers globally. This is also in line with government's pioneer economy strategy rather than the fast follower. Meanwhile, bio-industry has especially been in a limelight along with the aging popularity and the growth of life science technology. To this, Prime Minister Lee nak announced on the 17th that the government will focus on nurturing new medicine, medical devices, and regenerative medicine industries. South Korea's pharmaceutical and biotechnology industry employment rate surged way beyond the average employment rates of their recent 10 years in manufacturing industry, reaching 100,000 number of employees. The 2018 Bio Industry Survey shows that the bio industry sector showed 5.6% rate of increase in annual average employment from year 2013 to 2017 whereas the manufacturing industry showed 0.8% average annual increase rate. One of the Korea's biggest bio-industry conglomerates, Celtrion, started as a two-people company in 2002, but now is a business with around 1,500, employing more than 200 just within one year last year. Investment within the bio-industry is increasing as big pharmaceuticals invest in venture startups. Experts say this is to strategically extend the company pipeline while minimizing risk in development of new medicine. Yuhan invested in seven startups, recording the highest number of company investments. Hanmi is focusing on investing in expanding the treatment area through open innovation strategy. Kaeum Pharmaceuticals is planning on concentrated investment in early stage buyer ventures while Chonggundang Pharmaceutical is highly interested in investing in overseas bio venture startups. We have prepared today's news based on bio industry as a whole being our very first episode. Perhaps on the next episode we will come up with a more in-depth industry issue. Thank you for tuning in today and we hope to see you on a weekly basis. Have a great day ahead.